Okay, let's uh, find now the flux due to a point charge at a certain uh, distance. Okay, so we, we only have the charge and we need to find the, the flux uh, somewhere here. Okay, um, we know that the flux is equal to Ea cosine theta, that's the flux for electric field. We actually don't know where the we don't know the value of the electric field, and we don't know the value of the area, so we don't have that. So that probably will not be a good approach. A better approach is to use the flux is equal to q enclosed divided by epsilon zero, because those two quantities are equal. Remember, that's from Gauss's law. That's what Gauss's law about. He put the two together. Okay. Do we know? So if we want to find the flux, we just actually surround this by like a sphere, if you will. And, uh, then Q enclosed will be 3 nano N coulomb. So th that's 3 nano. So that would be 3. That's all the enclosed charge. 3 times 10 to minus 9 divided by epsilon zero. Epsilon zero is equal to 8.85 times 10 to minus 12 uh, coulomb square per newton meter. So that that's epsilon zero, which is the permittivity for free space. Usually in an MCAT or any national test or in any local tests, this, this value would be given to you. All right. So if you just do some calculations, you will be able to find 338.98 newton per coulomb dot meters square. So this is the flux that is going through this um, sphere due to this point charge. Okay, that's it. Thank you.